it is also very pertinent uh, to mention here that uh, uh, defense is a very strategic uh, part of the nation for any nation and particularly for the india it's very important at this current juncture so given the geopolitical situation which is our uh, not only we have to see that how much we can save economically but in the area of your defense like uh, we are taking care of our uh, citizens our the borders it has been very been become very important for us to meet the requirements not only uh in the uh, in that that uh, it is the price but time is also the essence and that is where the fdi also has been permitted in the defense and you may find that the lot of foreign technologies are coming in the country and now it is uh, the time where lot of foreign uh, uh, equipment manufacturers are collaborating as well as sometimes they are setting their facility in the country and which will really make our uh, the vision of getting india self line in the defense production so this is how the our uh, things are going on in this context i would like to also mention the role of the public sector units because the psu like as i said about the midhani we have around uh, almost 40 47 years of the history and we have a lot of uh, uh, data banks generation of the information and the technologies similar thing like other units are also there and uh, i can proudly say that uh, the country uh, the units are very much uh, capable of meeting the challenges and uh, with the given uh, scenario and uh, given the opportunity and acceptability of the uh, like defense products coming from the psu it will really be very uh, like convenient for us to acquire certain technologies and knowledge in the quick quickest way and then transform to the products to meet the uh, aspect of the art uh, need for our uh, armed forces and uh, the number of programs are going in the country recently you might have seen that country has tested a uh, number of uh, uh, missiles number of uh, uh, certain things coming in the space application Uh, so those things are if uh, is all the home grown technologies and i am sure that there the product coming out for those things for those things in our uh, defense application it will definitely it will be helpful in the future needs for the country and uh, i am sure that the type of policy initiative and support given by the government of india our defense industry will have a very important uh, future and defense psus also will be a, some sort of a, a backup for the nation and, and today's scenario not one only on the one sector it also requires the involvement of private sector from foreign uh, uh, supply foreign oems foreign technology tested technology transfers i think all those areas our nation is working and i am sure that you will find that in the coming days india will have a very important uh, destination and uh, the defense for the defense as well as the aerospace and we will not only will be making our own requirements we will be also having a good presence in the international market and for that the recent foreign policy initiative by the government is going to help us in the coming days so thank you very much for giving me this mr ja mr ja a few uh, not questions it's just a plain interaction because we got 5 minutes with us uh, why this name mishra <laughs> yeah it's uh, mishra is not uh, uh, my mishra title it is a mishra it is not misra misra it is misra misra means alloy so if you see that for any metals and all the alloying is very important so that word is taken uh, from that uh, mis so basically okay, the alloys alloys making company what are your uh, views on the various beautiful schemes that are driven by the public sector companies that the prime minister you know in uh, launches or 
काइंड पेट्रोनाइजेस लाइक स्वच्छ भारत अभियान हिंदी राज भाषा यू नो विजिलेंस वीक ब्यूटिफुल प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ द कंट्री विच आर ड्रिवेन बाय द पब्लिक सेक्टर कंपनीज बट बिफोर दैट आर यू अ मोनोपोली आर यू अ मोनोपोली इन द कंट्री not 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 uh, precisely uh, we are have there is a lot of uh, other companies are also coming up yeah maybe few years back you can say that it was monopoly but a lot of other companies are also coming up now and you will find that uh, number of products in the country or materials are being manufactured in the private sector and they are very much meeting the requirement of what are the major areas of csr what are the major areas of csr what are the major areas of csr that you in, uh, that your company engages in what are the major areas of csr, CSR today it's basically it is basically uh, we are looking uh, seeing that we giving the support for skill development we Yeah.